Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So today's video is an Ikea haul as you can tell by the title um, and it's a bit of a follow up to my previous Ikea video I did where I did a come shop with me in Ikea showing you everything that was new in store and basically walking you around the store. So if you do want to watch that one first then I will link that in the description box down below. But then today's video is a haul showing you everything that I personally picked up in store. One of the reasons that I went to Ikea was to get some new drawers for my walk-in wardrobe because I'm currently in the process of just trying to sort it out. And we currently have the Ikea Malm drawers in three of our bedrooms. I just love their drawers from there. They're such great value, really good quality, really sturdy. So I thought I would pick up some more. Unfortunately, they didn't have any of the Malm drawers in stock. So I did see some other ones that I really like that I will put a picture of on screen. And they were called Song Sand. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I did really like these ones. They looked a little bit more premium than the normal mound drawers um, and they had kind of like um, a panel in, a, like a panel edge round it, almost like shaker style edge to it with some really nice black handles on there as well. So I thought they would look really nice in there, but they were slightly more expensive than the Malm ones. So I picked up the four chest of drawer set, which was £129. Um, I haven't actually built it yet, but I will obviously put a picture on the screen of what they will look like, and hopefully they'll look really nice in my walk-in wardrobe. So a top tip actually, if you are planning on going to Ikea for something specific, is making sure that you check that it's in stock before you go. Um, there were a few things that I did actually want when we went there um, but they didn't have them in stock which was yeah which was unfortunately a bit frustrating next up I thought I would show you my biggest bargain of the day and that is this um, plate dryer um, I needed a new one anyway I've just got a plastic one um, I think I brought it in a set when we moved ages ago um, and I really like this one um, it's basically like a metal one with a metal kind of tray in there as well to to collect all the drips and this was a bargain two pounds can you believe it two pounds for a dryer so yeah that was my that was definitely my bargain of the whole haul so I thought I would show you that first next up I thought I would show you some faux plants that I picked up I have quite a lot of the faux plants from Ikea already and let's be honest you can't go to Ikea without picking some of the faux plants up I think they are such good value they look really realistic as well and if I'm ever after any faux plants and I always buy them from Ikea. Um, so the first thing that I picked up is this hanging plant which I think nearly everyone has one of these in their house. Um, this will actually be the fourth one that I'll have brought for our house um, and this was £6. So everything that I mentioned today I will try and put the full prices in the description box down below if I can't remember them because I've lost my receipt unfortunately. Um, and then I got this... Um, plant pot for it as well just in grey and this will probably hang on a shelf in my utility and this one was two pounds so yeah I think these look really nice either hanging off shelves or radiator covers window sills anything like that um then I got a new plant so I haven't seen this range in there before it's almost it kind of looks almost like rosemary um, and I really like this one because you can kind of bend it out um, and kind of flex it to how you want it to look. And then I think this was £2. Um, and then I picked up this bowl as well because I thought this wooden bowl would look really nice styled in this wooden bowl. Maybe putting this on my table in the kitchen room or I am looking at doing like a kind of um, coffee area, like a coffee station in the corner of my kitchen. So I even thought this might look quite nice, like styled on a shelf as well. Um, so yeah, I just seen this bowl um, when we were looking around and then when I got to the till it was £10, which I actually think is quite a lot of money for, for a wooden bowl like this. But yeah, so I'll probably just use it for styling. You could also use it as a fruit bowl um, or even like a salad bowl as well. Um, so yeah, it's got quite a lot of uses, but I did think £10 was quite pricey. Um, then next up, I just got a plant like this. I needed a new one to go in my ensuite window. No idea what it is, um, but it just looks quite pretty. And got a white cream plant pot to go with it too, which I think was about £2. And then next up, um, I brought a slightly bigger plant. So I haven't seen one like this before. I think it's, it looks like a hydrangea. Um, and again, I really like it because you can kind of bend it into shape um, and thought this would look perfect in my kitchen. Not sure whether I'll put it on the kitchen table or maybe in the windowsill and brought this really nice pot with it as well. I don't know if you can make out any of the details on the camera at all. 
Um, but it's kind of like a grey, creamy colour and it's got like a mottled effect to it um, and it's got like a bit of a sheen to it as well. It's really good quality this part. I'll just check my phone because I've tried to write the prices on it. Um, so this pot was only £4, which I think is really good value for a pot like this and it's really like solid as well. And the plant itself was... £12. So this one was slightly more expensive but you can see it's quite a lot bigger and I think this would also look quite nice outside in the garden as well and would obviously look nice all year round and wouldn't kind of die off in the winter or anything. So either I will put this in the kitchen or potentially on the table outside on our patio set. So I also got a couple of just random bits for the kitchen in there. Um, I brought this steamer in there. So this is like a bamboo steamer um, because I'm always wanting to make like steamed dumplings and things um, and don't have one. So I thought I would get this and yeah, try and make some kind of Asian steamed vegetables or steamed dumplings and things in there. Um, and this was £13, which is quite reasonable actually because I've seen these priced a lot higher than that elsewhere. Next up um, is something that I just picked up for Arabella. Um, this was £10 um, and it's kind of like a, it's almost like a lap tray. So it's got like a bit of padding in here um, and then it's got a tray here so you can like do drawing and things on it. Let me take that off so it's easier to see. Um, so you can like clip paper and things on here. So I thought this would be really good for going on holiday, especially sitting on the plane and doing things, hopefully fingers crossed when we can go on holiday. Um, or, you know, just for days out and we can take it with us and then I'll show you inside as well. It's quite cool. So we can kind of store everything in there. So it just zips open and then there's loads of room to put like paper, crayons, anything basically. Or well, you know if you're going to a restaurant um, and you kind of need to keep your child entertained, then I thought this would be ideal just to put like books in there, crayons, colouring pads, sticker books, anything, and just kind of carry that and take with us. Um, and yeah, that one was £10. I um, also picked up a cushion in there. Um, so this is a black and white striped cushion. So it's already filled as well. Um, really good value actually. This was only six pounds, which I think is such good value and will actually look perfect in our spare room. I did also pick up some cushion inserts in there. So I've been looking for inserts for ages and online they are really expensive. Um, in my cushions at the moment on the sofa in the living room, I've just got the like the polyester ones and they just really annoy me because they go really flat and you can't kind of plump them and chop them properly. Um, and a lot of people have recommended the IKEA inserts because they do the feather inserts in there. Um, and I got two of these. So these are the really big ones as well. So these are 65 by 65. They did have a lot of other sizes. Um, and yeah, they're just basically like feather filled, um, really good quality. And these were only six pounds, which again is so much cheaper than anywhere else where I've seen them. So I've got a couple of other little bits in there. Um, I just got some coffee cups in there so I've just got these glass um, I think these are the latte ones so I got a couple of these and then I got a couple of other glasses in there as well just because they're such good value in Ikea and to be honest I'm always smashing the glasses um, and then I did also see this really cute um, I'm guessing it's an espresso cup um, but Arabella likes to have well she likes to pretend to have kind of coffee when we have coffee but she'll just have warm milk um, so I thought this would be really cute for her to have her little kind of shot of warm milk in when we are having our coffee as well um, and then lastly I just picked up a couple of candles so these were only one pound each um, and they just smell really good um, just for a pound they're just they're just really good just for you know like getting rid of smells and just having just having lit in the house and then to go on top of them maybe for kind of styling purposes I bought this cloche so I think that would look quite nice literally styled on top of it like that and this cloche was only five pounds which again is really good value because I have brought one previously um, just from a local garden centre and it cost me £10 and it's basically exactly the same. So I think that would look really cute just with a candle styled under it like that. The only other thing that I picked up which isn't 
very exciting. Um, just these lint rollers. Um, I just really like these just for getting things off your clothes. Um, I think this one was 50p and I bought four refills which were 75p for the four. So that is everything that I picked up in Ikea. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this and if you do want to see any more of what's in Ikea in general, then I'll link my Come Shop With Me video down below. But if you have liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, then I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.